Hello guys and welcome to Kerbal Space Program. We are in version 0 0.24 and we have mods. Mods coming out of the wazoo. Uh, straight away you can see we have TAC life support, we have the Kerbal alarm clock, we have the Kerbal construction time, we have the toolbars over here with uh, object enhancement, we have stage recovery, we have the alarm clock still, we have construction type still, that's all the same ones. We have real shoots, we have the module manager, which is managing stuff. We have, dang it, I think that is, Ferrum Aerospace. We have mods. More mods than people have ever put together, probably not. <laughs> it's just, there's so many mods. We're in a fresh career save here. Uh, first thing first is, cons is Kerbal Construction Time. Now, Kerbal Construction Time uh, instead of like research and rocket building happening instantly, it now takes time for your rockets to be built. Unless you can recover the parts, and then obviously you have those parts in your inventory, if you safely recover them, you'll have them in your inventory, and they, you don't have to build that fuel tank again, so that lowers the construction time. Anyway, really interesting. Um, I've played around with it a little bit, I've been testing out these mods. So welcome to Kerbal Construction Time. It is advised that you spend your 15 upgrades to increase the build rate in the building that you will primarily use. Please see the Getting Started Guide, including in the downloads, or available for and blah blah. Um, da -da -da. Yeah, that's all we need to know. So let's spend our upgrades. Uh, now, research R&D here. I didn't realize you could upgrade that when I first played took forever! I was spending so much time waiting for research to happen. So right away we are going to... Now from what I understand, um, in one day you will develop two science. And I think this is the amount of science it takes to research something? I'm not sure. Be honest you can also buy points um, this is also your build rates build points per second uh, but we are going to say um, put one on development put a couple here and so one science is that many build points right but I want to develop more science and then the rest we're gonna put on the VAB because that's what I'm gonna be using most We're going to increase from rate 1 here up to 0.6 build points per second. And we're going to close that. This is our build list. This is what the stuff comes from. Uh, pack life support we'll put over here. Try and find room for everything. Anyway, we're already 7 seconds into the day. Let's start building a rocket. Actually, let's not start building a rocket. Career mode. More things we can do in career mode. Exit. In career mode here. Come on, there we go. Load everything in. In career mode, we can go to here. We'll select some contracts. I'm sure you guys have seen this already. This is the new contract stuff. So we have selected launch a new vehicle and set an altitude record of 5,000 meters. Oh my goodness, I think we could do that. We can probably do that. We could jump that high. We're just that good. Boom, we got a pod. This is another mod here. The derp. The something emergency rescue pod, I think. Anyway, it's like a little rescue pod thing. And let's put on a thingy. We don't have any decouplers at this point. No, we do have heat shields though. Which act as decouplers? That's fine. Um, for right now, we'll put on a parachute. Uh, let's also go with our first curb cam. Boom. I do love curb cams. I was trying to do an entire series just with curb cams. Doesn't really work out though. We can also scale parts with it, which is exciting. Boop, 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 boop. <laughs> scale up to super big for just fun. Uh, anyway. Um, what is this? Pop info. So, edit info about the craft when you launch or upon request. Ooh. 
Okay. And then this is our flight unit. Oh yeah, that's the uh, Kerbal Engineer, I believe. Okay. Um, I think that's pretty much all we... well, we obviously want an engine. That would help. <laughs> ah, there we go. Okay. Name it. What shall we name it? We shall call it Brian. Brian the Rocket. No, let's not call it Brian. Brian, um, let's call these... Um, uh, the Phoenix. Phoenix 1. Rising from the ashes of the civilization that used to live here. That's not canon. Um, okay, so we've got huge amounts of delta V. We've got pretty much enough to get halfway into orbit. Uh, build time is eight days. We can also simulate it. Uh, simulating does cost you money, uh, but it means you can test out your rocket before spending a week building it. Uh, build at 0.6 build points per second, and this is the amount of build points we have and stuff and things. Not entirely sure how it works. I just know that if these numbers are higher, it takes less time. Like if we put this up to seven, it takes four hours. But we can't do that because we only have 0.6 build points per second. Whew. Anyway, um, so you can't go launch. The launch is disabled. You just go build. Added Phoenix One to VAB build list. Then we will exit, and we can see that if we go to, where is our build list? Build list, um, construction time, there we go. Uh, VAB list, um, or the next vessel, is in eight hours, or eight days, one hour, 46 minutes and 22 seconds. And it also freezes if you mouse over it. <laughs> uh, so yeah, that's going to take some time. Um, so for the next eight days, I'm just going to consider what what choices we have made that have led us to become the the head of a space program of little green men. No, we're not. <laughs> we are just going to warp to complete. Blah, 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 blah. Blip, 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 blip. Excellent. It's now night time, so we're going to warp until daytime. So as you can see, it's already been nine days. If you look down in the, the bottom left, or the, the bottom middle here, uh, on our time, it's already been one year, nine days, five hours, 49 minutes, and 40 seconds. And we still haven't launched a vessel. That's the wonderful thing about Kerbal Construction Time, is that it actually takes time to do stuff. So anyway, we're going to go to the VAB storage here, which is where it keeps our rocket. And we are going to select this. We can scrap it, edit it, rename it, duplicate it, and close it. I assume that closes the options. It does. Good. <laughs> okay. So we're going to go launch. And we're going to say fill. It's going to put Jebediah Kerman in it. And we are going to launch. I have like two copies of Infernal Robotics, apparently. That's interesting. Possibly bad. Do oh, they're gone. Alrighty. Jebediah come in. You are ready for the Phoenix One Ascent. Uh, we are going to put our flight engineer down here. Um, fair and space, we're going to click up just in case. We may need that eventually at some point. Um, chatterer. Chatterer, you should be chatting eventually. Enhanced nav, nav ball. Uh, we can change the nav ball position, which is exciting. I don't know why you'd want to. Uh, in fact, it's off to the left. There we go. I don't know why it was off to the left. I kind of did that by default. Uh, persistent trails, that's not something we're going to be using. I was hoping I could record flights to do a, um, a recording with just these cameras, but that didn't work out. Um, if we go like this, we can toggle between the cameras. So we have our onboard camera facing upwards and our onboard camera facing downwards. There is Chatterer chattering away. Anyway, we're going to turn on the SAS, uh, go down to about third throttle and launch. 
Jebediah Kerman is away. There was a message there. I don't know what it said. It said something about reason not on ground, I think. Uh, we have four days of fuel, uh, two days of water, and four minutes of oxygen. <laughs> not a lot of oxygen. Uh, da -da -da, taking off into the sky. We should have plenty of Delta V to make our altitude record. Plenty of Delta V. In fact, we've already made it. Uh, you can see we got our messages here. Contract complete. We can altitude, uh, altitude record of 5,000 meters completed. Uh, launch a new vessel. Contract completed. And vessel complete. The Phoenix One has been completed. Jebediah Kerman. First Kerbal into the air. Uh, we are going to do a crew report. Sure, look inviting. Keep the data. I'm just going to turn over slightly. And give it a little bit of oomph on the old time warp. Excellent, we are coming back down. Uh, we're going to go... Oh, we're going we're gonna to mess up because Ferrum Aerospace is trying to push my ship like a lawn dart. It is succeeding. Um, let's pop the shoe at 10,000. Hopefully we can keep enough control until that point in time. Uh, we really shouldn't have gone sideways as we we're coming back down. Fram airspace is what, look, if I let go, it's just going to take it like a lawn dart. And it's just going to speed up. Um, we're currently spinning, that's not good. <laughs> ah. uh, we're at 7,000, let's pop that shoot. Let's turn off SAS, that's going to drag us back around. The drag's going to be on the nose, so Ferrum Aerospace will lift that nose back up for us. Jebediah Kerman shall live to fly another day. Yes, excellent. Still got a large area, apparently. Ferrum Aerospace really doesn't like this. Have SAS off, yeah. I guess the balance is just quite enough that Ferrum Aerospace is putting it down one way and the parachute is pulling it up the other pulling it up the other and it's just just balancing like really just there we go the drag has kicked in now from the parachute uh, it should have opened up slower than that I would have thought because of real shoots but okay uh, do I have real shoots? I know I have it figure visible buttons. I can't get it up on there apparently. That's interesting. Uh, we'll work on that in a second. Here we come in for a landing. Hopefully everything survives. It didn't. Dang it, we'll have to rebuild those. But anyway, Jebediah Kerman is now surviving. We are going to get him on an EVA. And we are going to go right click, take surface sample, and EVA report, keep data, keep data, grab, board, grab, board, grab. Oh no, did Jebediah, did, did you die, Kerbin, Jebediah? No, you're just dead underwater. <laughs> uh, grab, board, grab. No, he's getting air. Stop. Oh, he's dead again. <laughs> uh, okay, we'll just recover. Recover vessel. Excellent. Excellent. Like a little dolphin. Uh, 21 science. We, oh, we have 21 science total. We recovered 15.2 science from that. Uh, we have zero fund recovered from parts because, well, it was Jebediah. He is worthless. <laughs> He's not worthless. He's Jebediah. Uh, let's go to the tracking station here. Phoenix 1 lander. Smash down. Let's recover you. Recover the vessel. Yes. 8.5 science from that. Okay. Um, plus one and a half grand in funds. That's nice. And excellent. We are done. Okay. Let's go back. Let us. There we go. Go to the research and development complex. 29 points to spend. Let's buy the basic rocketry. Uh, let's also... Ah, dang it, module manager was in the way. I was trying to read what that said. 
Uh, let's move the module manager down to there for this window, or let's move it all the way up to there for this window. Um, and then we have enough science to get one more thing. The stuff I like getting right away is solar panels. Solar panels are damn useful for satellites and stuff. Separation boosters, not particularly worried. Landing legs, not particularly worried. Um, these containers would be nice for longer missions. And batteries would be a, would be pretty good too. And wheels, I'll take some wheels. Okay, yeah, yeah, yeah. Table parachutes, and real shoots, radio shoots. Okay, yeah, we'll research that. Uh, node will unlock in three days, four hours, thirty minutes, and zero seconds. Now, if we go back, and then we go back into research and development, you can see that they're on that they are locked still. If you buy them again, I believe they take research points, but they are being researched. Actually, we have some more points to put in, but if we go to tech, you can see that it is being researched. Uh, time left is one day and stuff. Uh, let's go back to R&D, maybe? Um, let's, let's monitor this quickly. So we've got one, one day, one hour and a half. So if we go to upgrades and we put this on here, that's really not done a lot. If we go to upgrades and put this on here, okay, that's whoa. Well, it took it down to three hours. Okay, that's fantastic. Um, now we don't have any points to spend on the VAB, but whatever. We don't need the VAB. So I guess we'll just let's click on wheel shoot, real shoots quickly. Uh, automatically arm when deployed. Sure. Sound has stopped. Why is the sound stopped? That's weird. Uh, attack life support settings. We don't need the settings. That's fine. This, I believe, is dang it. Yes. Dang it takes makes random failures. <laughs> That's going to be fun. Uh, let's go back to the VAB. And. Oh, no. Let's uh, look at our contract section. Let's see what contracts we can do. Contracts. Set an attitude record of that. We could probably do that. An orbit curve and escape the atmosphere. Okay. Uh, let us. Let us wait. Um, let's speed up time, or let's just walk to a complete until we have the basic rocketry pack. Whoops. That will allow us to build better things. And the survivability is still going to take another day. That's fine. Okay, let's go to the VAB now. So we know what kind of missions we have available. Altitude records and stuff like that. Uh, we have some more fuel pods. That's excellent. Um, we have some decouplers, which is excellent. We have a rigid airship. That's always good. No more cameras. And a little bit of science. Okay. So, we're going to upgrade this vessel here to... Hmm. Okay, let's go with a new vessel, actually. Completely new. No, yeah, well, we might as well go with a new. Uh, let's go with the command pod. Let's go with... Another parachute... Um, add a couple on there, I guess. So we want to reach an altitude record of 22,000. We can do that, probably. Put on a bit of fuel. And we'll take our rocket here. Uh, let's go with another curb cam. Or in fact, let's go with some science. Boop. And then, that's our launch cameras. We want a booster cam. Yeah, we want a booster cam. Uh, let's put a booster cam on the nose here. Okay, and this will be the Bionics 2. 
so we have a delta V of 2707. That's pretty much enough to get into orbit. Not quite, but nearly. Save that, and it's going to take eight days to build, so let's build that. That's added to the inventory, or the, the doobly what's it. Uh, let's exit this. And. Okay, it's night time. Let's take our missions here. Oh wow, we have a whole bunch more now. Uh, we can set that altitude record, that's fine. And we might be able to test the Mark 16 parachute in flight over Kerbin, maybe? Anything landed at Kerbin? No, Sabatron landed at Kerbin. Okay, um, so that's that. Uh, that's the next vessel. But we want to warp until this guy is completed. Let's just warp to... Or in fact, uh, crap, it's too late now. I was going to just warp until the science was completed. And then we could rebuild a new vessel that could be building while we wait, but never mind. Um, so we now have a vessel completed, excellent, and we should have the tech done, excellent, okay. So, let's warp until daytime. Doodly 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 doo. Sun is rising. Kind of a, a bit of an early morning launch. Let's take our Phoenix 2, let's launch it. Let's fill it with Jebediah Kerman. I'm not sure if you can manually fill them with whoever you want. That's something to look into. But for now we've just got an order of hierarchy where Jebediah Kerman will fly everything. Unless he's somewhere else and then somebody else will. Um, okay, so. Let's take a crew report at the launch pad here. We haven't done that yet. Let us now turn on the SES. Throttle down just a little, just under half. Okay, we need just more than half for this vessel. It's a heavier machine. Hopefully we don't get too much drag from our science there. That fair of aerospace kind of messes up. Should be okay. With any luck. Hopefully we have enough oxygen too. Okay, let's throttle up a bit. We can do that. So we want to reach... There we go, onboard camera facing up to the nose, onboard camera facing down. Oh, we are tilting. We are tilting. Ooh, 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 ooh. We're losing it, we're losing it, we lost it, we lost it, we lost it. Critical failure, critical failure. Um, we lost our science. Onboard camera, onboard camera is, is just gone. Um, that thing's gone, that thing's gone. Okay, Jebediah came in. Um, we can save you, it's not a problem. Has our onboard camera disappeared? No, our onboard camera is still there. Stage recovery is not going to be good. Oh, our onboard camera is on our vessel, isn't it? Yeah, the fuel tank is falling to the s falling to the the, the ground. Uh, let's just turn off SAS. That should oh, we decouple that. Yeah, there we go. Now aerodynamically, we're good. We are sound. We're at under five thousand meters. So let's pull that chute. Yes, we can see it. Pretty cool view of the chute there, through the onboard camera. Hopefully we'll be able to see it inflate. We should be able to move the camera. I thought we could move the camera. We can zoom in and out a little bit. Put life support over here somewhere. There we go, parachute slowly inflating, thanks to real chutes. Nice. And we are going to land. Did have a bit of a critical failure. Let's get the. Oh, we're going to land on land. Oh, what was that? That was an explosion. That's probably our fuel tank. So, yeah, that was a critical failure of that system right there. Stay destroyed. Yep, yeah, this is all from stage recovery. And. landed. Okay. Jebediah, we're going to get you out. We're going to let go. We're going to get you over this way. Uh, you're going to take a surface sample. Excellent. You're going to do us an EVA report. Excellent. And you're also going to plant a flag. Uh, this is... 
the site name Phoenix to crash landing. Uh, plaque text uh, after um, critic after aerodynamic failure and uh, or causing critical critical structural damage probably plenty of spelling mistakes but okay um Jebediah Kermin Kermick Kermin uh, successfully landed here excellent uh, let's get you back in the vessel so we can just recover you nice and easy board and recover so we now have the landing site of Jebediah Kermin Phoenix 2 any land landings we do, I want to kind of mark them. Um, science 25. In total, we gained 13.7 science on that mission. Um, gained 1,700 or 1,600. Um, probably lost money in total because everything blew up. Uh, but you gained some reputation, which is nice. Okay, so that definitely was a critical failure in all the systems there is annoying but what we're going to do is going to go back to the VAB here and instead of one mystery goo because I think that's probably what our issue was uh, let's also increase the um, snapping so it's now snaps to 90 degrees this is from uh, VAB enhancement maybe something like that I think it's called who knows God knows how long I've recorded now. It's probably going to be our last flight. Uh, let us move this camera around to... Nope, let's change down the... Nope, vertical snapping, I don't care. Uh, change down the... Symmetry, there we go. Just a one times, excellent. Um, Stuff-wise, now we have... Oh, you know what, I do want these on the pod, because I do want to recover them. Uh, let's go. We have some inflatable parachutes, which are not inflatable parachutes, are inflatable um, thingies. We do have real shoot parachutes now. We can put these on this stage here. So when that decouples, those will deploy, and that will recover that stage, hopefully. Stage recovery. Oh yeah, it just gives you a message. Um, Total velocity 8.2 percent recovered 86. Uh, those are going to be empty, so that should be plenty fine. That should be plenty fine. Um, then, then we don't have any more science to include. Um, aerodynamic wise, nothing exciting. Control wise, nothing. Propulsion wise, nothing. Okie dokie. This is the Phoenix 2 again, uh, or the Phoenix 2.5, 2.5, save, and build time 7 days, okay, let's build that, and let's exit that. So, we might have some more points to use here, I'm not sure how you get these points exactly. Uh, let's go to the research and development. We've got 25. Uh, we'll be able to get more science, which is good. And experimental plant growth, okay. Comms, which is good. Uh, we will need that eventually. And batteries, we will need batteries for sure. Everything has reliability. It's piloted and built to last. Um, okay, we can't afford that anyway. This is all our fairings and reaction wheels, stuff like that. Stuff we will need. That's something else we will need. Um, I need solar panels though because I need to set up a communication network if I want to go anywhere deeper than just where I am. Uh, Ceptrons, not really 
bothered right now, and radio decouplers, that's something we'll need eventually, but for right now we're good. Okay, uh, let's warp till that is completed, and that will probably wait until next episode, maybe, and I probably might have screwed myself over by saying next episode. But anyway, I'll see you guys next episode.